Okay, so now we're at the conductivity portion and the samples, I have poured them into these testing tray. So the sample one, two, three, four, you can tell four from the blue color and one from the white color, five, six, seven, and eight. And trust me, there's liquids in each one, you just can't see it. And then I have my little conductivity tester. Okay, what it has is, is an on-off switch, so right now it's off. And it has these two lights, a red light and a green light, and a battery, of course, and two little um, metal prongs to dip into it. So you need the two metal prongs for the positive and negative charge, and it looks my, mine's a little dirty that someone didn't clean it well at the last time. Um, and then it has a little guide at the back. So you wanna look at this guide. If it doesn't turn on, either light doesn't turn on, then it's low or no connectivity, connect, sorry, conductivity. If it's dim on the red and the green stays off, then it's low. If the red looks medium and the green is still off, it's medium conductivity. If the red is bright and the green's on dim, then it's high. If the red is extremely bright and the green is medium, then it's very high conductivity. So keep in mind those, and I'd write those down if I were you. And what I'm gonna do each time I use it, I'm gonna take my paper towel, dip it in some water, okay? And make sure I clean it off every time because I don't want to um, contaminate with my previous sample and get a false reading, okay? So be back. Okay, back, we're gonna start with sample one. And so it's hard to see the lights from your angle, but you can see the red one is pretty bright. The green one, I still don't see on. So I wanna show you how I'm cleaning it. So each time I'm dipping it in pure water and you can see there's no lights coming on. Hopefully you can see there's no lights coming on in the pure water. And then I'm wiping it off in my uh, paper towel every time I use it. Sample two. Sample two, the red one, you can see it's not as bright as the previous one and the green one's still not on. Okay, number three. Now you can see this one is super bright and the green one is on. It's, it, you can see it's a different color to green. The green is on, but it's, it's not entirely bright, but it's dim. But that, that one is really bright on the red now. Okay, we're testing number four. So you can see the red one is extremely bright again. The green one is on. It's actually getting really bright. So the green one just got really bright, and the red one is also extremely bright as well. So you can see a difference in the light up on this one. Number five, uh, I don't see anything lighting up for number five. I don't see a red light on or I don't see a green light on for number five. Sorry, we have to do number five again because for some reason my conductivity wasn't, tester wasn't working correctly and now it's not working again. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out the conductivity tester. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this with number five again. So you can see number five is lighting up both the red and the green, so judge how conductive, conductivity it is for number five. Okay, for number six. I don't see anything turning on for number six. And number seven. Number seven, I don't see much. Number seven. And finally for number eight, but I do see number eight. Okay. And so there's your conductivity test and next we'll have the melting tests.